Hello fellow fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you the infamous 50 fragrances in five minutes challenge. I'm not gonna lie, this is the third time I am filming this and the first time I did it I was like 15 fragrances short. I mean I was, I failed miserably. The second time I ran over maybe by like 45 seconds and I, but I was still going to do it. Like I look, I'm not going to keep doing this over and over. But when I watched the video back, it was me doing a lot of reaching, me bending, like leaning over. I didn't like the way I looked in it. I'm very self-conscious about that. So I was like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the way this looks. I know it's so superficial. But I also thought maybe third time's the charm. Maybe third time is the charm. And I'm going to try not to like bend over too much. So I love that this is a Jeremy Fragrance challenge because Jeremy Fragrance was the first YouTuber, uh, fragrance YouTuber that I really got into. And that really set me on the path of discovering a lot of fragrance YouTubers and becoming a fragrance YouTuber. I really have him to thank. And... I know this is an old challenge, but when it, I wasn't doing YouTube when this came out. So now's my chance. And I am seeing a lot of fragrance YouTubers still doing this challenge. So I'm going to try it for a third time. Wish me luck. I really hope that this is it because I don't feel like doing this again. And <laughs> it is like, it is quite a task and I'm going to have no voice left. And yeah, it's just, this is hard. This is hard. Even though fragrance is my, is my passion, this was like, whew, it's tricky. All right, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try not to like be all weird and leaning over and all that and grabbing things all over the place. I'm going to try to be sophisticated on this one. So, okay, I'm going to set my timer for the third time. All right, ready, and I'm going to start now. Okay, Chanel number five, oh, same DNA as original um, number five, out at Hiddick, but uh, a little bit more citrusy than the original. Coco Noir by Chanel. This is uh, very warm and cozy, has tonka bean, vanilla, very uh, delicious. Next, we have um, Allure Sensual by Chanel. This is spicy, leans a little masculine because of some sandalwood and vetiver. Next is uh, Chanel Original Cocoa. This is rose and spicy and, and musky and very strong. Definitely can smell you walking into the room. Okay, Dior Attic. This is uh, vanilla, jasmine, tonka bean. A guy told me I smelled like cookies one time when I was wearing this. Okay. Next, we have Laure Mercier L'Air Magique. This is also a very ambery, musky, um, sweet. My dad says it smells like a cigar. I don't know why. This one does smell like a cigar. Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. It basically smells like tobacco and vanilla. It smells like a cigar. Tom Ford uh, Noir Pour Femme. This is a very spicy, floral, rose, incense -y, very, very, very sensual fragrance. Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc. This is very luxe, rich person, tropical vacation right there. Tom Ford Effing Fabulous. I won't say it. It's inappropriate. I just have the body spray of this. This is leather and lavender. Next is Mon Guerlain. This is a lavender vanilla fragrance. Very cozy and sophisticated. Mon Guerlain Intense. The lavender and vanilla are kicked up in this. Lasts longer. It's just a little bit stronger. Next, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Uh, beachy, but not sunscreeny. It actually has myrrh in it, and it's warm and cozy. A little bit of coconut. Estee Lauder Modern, Ru Modern Muse Le Rouge. This is rose berries. Um, it's very different. Modern Muse Le Rouge Gloss also rose and berries, but has a lipsticky vinyl note, which is very unique. Estee Lauder Erin Amber Musk. It's basically amber and musk. It's very light and pretty. Lancome Olivier Bell is a praline patchouli vanilla bomb. Super sweet. Olivier Bell Soleil Cristal. This is uh, a little bit of the DNA of uh, Olivier Bell, but with a uh, coconut um, tropical type of vibe. 
long comb lone wee tresor nude. This is long long coat and coconut, very tropical as well. Long comb lone wee tresor a la folie. This is berries and spices, and it's very sweet and delicious. Replica by the fireplace is like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. It's a vanilla musk with a popcorn opening. Guerlain Terracotta White Floral Old School Hollywood type of tropical fragrance. Very sophisticated. Paco Rabanne Olympia Intense. Very salty vanilla amber. Sarah Jessica Parker uh, NYC. A grown up strawberry musky fragrance. And I just dropped something. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, Mac, my heroine. It's, this is a patchouli incense bomb. You will clear a room with this one. Mac Velvet Teddy smells just like uh, Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, maybe a little bit lighter. Mac Creme de Nuit. This is a, a light leather um, sweet fragrance. Philosophy Fresh Cream, Lactonic Vanilla. Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, Lactonic Vanilla with, with a little bit of woods. Kiehl's Original Musk is very clean musk. Henry Rose uh, Torn, this is Vanilla and Vetiver. Henry Rose uh, Queens and Monsters, Pettigrine, Pettigrine uh, Vanilla and Sandalwood. Loves Baby Soft, uh, fruity, musky, and smells a little bit like a plastic doll. Skin Musk, very clean musk. Scandalwood, uh, this is uh, Heretic by uh, and uh, Dita Von Teese. This is Sandalwood, obviously, and Rose, very spicy. Prada Candy Kiss smells just like Moroccan oil. Prada Candy Night smells like chocolate orange. Angel uh, Eau Crossier is like original Angel with the patchouli and everything, but with some uh, fig. Kate Walsh Boyfriend, this is a uh, cozy vanilla myrrh, a little bit masculine. Versace Crystal Noir is a uh, little bit of coconut and then also some spiciness. Versace Dylan Turquoise, uh, citrusy beachy fragrance. Uh, YSL Mon Paris, berries and musk. Bobby Brown Beach smells like a uh, sunscreen beach vacation. Uh, Britney Spears Hidden Fantasy smells kind of like a musky hairspray, but a good hairspray. Okay, there's my time, but I'm going to keep going. Britney Spears Prerogative is uh, berries and coffee. Rihanna Rebel Floor, spicy white florals uh, with, some, with some musk in there. Goop Edition 3 smells like Christmas trees and incense. Uh, Tiger by Her Side, incense also, warm, cozy, vanilla, and Memory Motel by uh, Onui on Montauk. This is uh, apparently what it smelled like when the Rolling Stones stayed at Andy Warhol's summer house in Montauk. Uh, there's some uh, cigarette there, some oak moss, and some leather. Okay. Okay, I didn't go over by that much that time. I'm not doing this again. Okay, but I'm just going to level with you. I'm not doing it again. I failed. Okay, I failed for a third time. But I got better every time. I think the problem is that my taste in fragrance is so sophisticated that I don't choose fragrances that are linear and simple to describe. Um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed me making fool out of myself and trying this challenge. Please comment if uh, you like any of these fragrances and uh, what you thought. Please don't make fun of me. Um, I'm sorry I failed, but I hate failure. I hate failing at things, but I also don't want to try this, you know, 50 more times until I get it right. I think that's a little fake, you know? This is this is as honest as I'm going to get. So, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos, for supporting my channel. A lot of you have been giving me some nice comments, and uh, I really, really do truly appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you haven't already. Click the notification bell, and then you'll know every time I upload because I know you are waiting with bated breath to, you know, for me to do that. <laughs> so this was fun. It was a little bit stressful. I really don't even want to think about putting all of these perfumes back after gathering them up, rounding them up. I did consider it my cardio today, though, because I was like up and down the stairs and grabbing things. And let me know if you've done this challenge. Let me know if you got some good cardio in while doing this challenge. I guess it would have made more sense if I just took a big bag upstairs and, you know, I wasn't thinking. I just wanted to do, you know, exercise 
and fragrance at the same time because I mean what could be better so anyway as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye